No matter who you are, no matter where you live, everyone is affected by the crisis of overdose. Imagine each dot represents a human life. This is how many people die of fatal overdoses across the country each year. It's more than 100,000. That's one person every five minutes. Before this timer ends, another person's life will be lost to overdose. The United States' war on drugs is more than 50 years old, but the numbers show that punishing people who use drugs was never a real solution. Overdose fatalities have been steadily increasing for over 20 years. When you look closer, the scale of the overdose crisis becomes clear. In the United States, almost 300 people die from overdose every day. Over 2,000 people die from overdose every week. Nearly 9,000 people die from overdose every month. Since 1999, over 1 million people have lost their lives to a fatal drug overdose. As overdose rates continue to increase, overdose statistics are also changing. The number of overdoses is rising fastest among Black and Indigenous people. In 2020, the rate of fatal overdoses for both Black and Indigenous people increased over 40%. Among younger Black people, overdose deaths have increased by 86%. Fentanyl and other synthetic opioids are now commonly mixed into a wide variety of different drugs. This has led to rising overdose rates among users of almost all illicit drugs. These lives are more than just statistics. Every person lost to overdose is missed by the people who loved and cared about them. Our loved ones who are missing deserve to be remembered. Each overdose death is tragic and preventable. It's become clear that harsh laws won't save more lives. More arrests can't end the overdose crisis. Drug use is a public health issue, not a criminal. While community health services are drastically underfunded, the United States spends billions of dollars per year enforcing the war on drugs. Across the United States, communities are responding to this crisis by implementing the principles and practices of harm reduction. Harm reduction is a practical, proven method to prevent overdoses and save lives. By providing critical supplies, information, and health care, it reduces the risks associated with drug use and improves the health of local communities. Through harm reduction programs, people who use drugs can access naloxone, a drug that safely reverses the effects of an overdose. Safer drug use supplies, such as sterile syringes to reduce the spread of HIV and viral hepatitis. Drug checking supplies and services. Medication treatment, such as buprenorphine and methadone. And other stabilizing health services. Harm reduction treats people as people. Everyone is worthy of dignity, respect, and understanding. People served by harm reduction programs are five times more likely to find drug treatment that works for them. Together, we can end overdose. Harm reduction works to improve the health and safety of people who use drugs. Support harm reduction services in your community. Get naloxone. Carry it wherever you go. Learn more about harm reduction and share your memory of a loved one lost to overdose at www.supportharmreduction.org.